Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create this video to discuss iOS 7.1.1 and in turn an urgent matter in the world of jailbreaking. So to start off, I'm going to open up Safari here and I'll have a link to what I discussed down below in the more info. So today, over a month and a half after the devastating blow to the jailbreak community that was iOS 7.1, a firmware that patched the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak, Apple released iOS 7.1.1 to the general public. And in addition to iOS 7.1.1 being available for immediate download via iTunes, the firmware is also available through Apple's built-in iOS over-the-air or OTA update feature. However, jailbroken users should avoid updating to iOS 7.1.1 as they will essentially forfeit their jailbreak. Evasion 7 is effectively useless on the newest 7.1.1 firmware, making it impossible for the public to jailbreak 7.1.1 again using Evasion 7. And although iOS 7.1 was the first significant iOS update since Apple revamped their mobile operating system with the release of iOS 7, today's new 7.1.1 firmware is simply a minor update that corrects a few small bugs, so it's really not worth forfeiting your jailbreak over. And the latest firmware, again being 7.1.1, is labeled with a build number of 11D201 and offers enhancements to Apple's iPhone 5S exclusive Touch ID sensor. It rectifies a bug that affected Bluetooth keyboards with the voiceover feature enabled and corrects an issue that could lead to the keyboard becoming less responsive. So the extent of iOS 7.1.1's change log is as follows, quote, further improvements to Touch ID fingerprint recognition, fixes a bug that could impact keyboard responsiveness, and fixes an issue when using Bluetooth keyboard with voiceover enabled. And as far as jailbreaking is concerned, those who wish to maintain and preserve their device's jailbroken state, again, avoid updating to iOS 7.1.1 at all costs, as a number of the exploits that powered the Evasion 7 jailbreak were patched when Apple released 7.1, so the same applies to 7.1.1. Furthermore, the evaders aren't planning on releasing the team's next untethered jailbreak utility to the masses until after Apple pushes out both iOS 8 and the company's next round of iDevices. They're simply not interested in burning through valuable exploits that they've spent months discovering and testing that could be put to better use. Again, on things like iOS 8 and Apple's next iDevices being the iPhone 6 and the successors to both Apple's iPad Air and Retina iPad Mini. If you own an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that's still running iOS 7.0 through 7.0.6, however, you can still make use of the Evasion 7 jailbreak utility to jailbreak your device or devices, although ensure that you avoid updating to iOS 7.1.1. And of course, I will have a link to my Untethered Evasion 7 jailbreak tutorial down below in the more info. And this also leads into the upcoming 7.1.1 Tethered jailbreak that will be exclusive to the iPhone 4. And the reason for that is because the utility that will eventually be updated and released, similar to my video on how to jailbreak iOS 7.1, will be based on GeoHot's 2010 Lime Rain exploit that exclusively supports devices powered by an A4 processor, again, like the iPhone four here. And essentially it would support other A4 based devices, however Apple has phased out those devices with the release of newer firmwares. And again, because it's hardware based, Apple simply cannot patch it without releasing newer devices, which obviously they've done, and therefore Lime Rain doesn't function on newer devices such as the iPhone 5S because the exploit was released in 2010 and it was patched some time ago. If you own an iPhone 4, however, and you're interested in jailbreaking iOS 7.1.1 tethered, then just be sure to stay tuned. But other than that, we're looking to the future. We will see another untethered jailbreak utility from the evaders after Apple releases their next major firmware and their newer devices. Of course though, just be sure to stay tuned. I will keep you completely updated on the jailbreak status along the way. And also if you're interested in earning paid iOS apps from Apple's App Store for free legally while simultaneously supporting the developers of said apps, just be sure to visit freeapplife.com or bit.com 
bit.ly forward slash get free app life inside of Safari. Once there, download free app life and install sponsored apps for points and then redeem said points for various prizes such as paid application codes from Apple's app store and gift cards. And if you like this video, it helped you and gave you some information regarding iOS 7.1.1, just be sure to rate it up and leave a comment down below in the comment section if you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card. And again, to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos like this one covering jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.